Hi everyone, welcome to another Autodesk screencast by Zan Ta of Repo Products. This screencast will showcase how to create a custom profile for a railing to be used in a project. If you like this video and would like to see more, please search for Zan Ta or VAR2016. Thanks for watching. Here I am in Autodesk Revit 2017 in the Recent Files window. I'll click New under Families and scroll down to Profiles. Look for the one that is the profile rail and click open. You'll notice that you have two reference planes already assigned and pinned down and define origins is checked, which means that the insertion point is right here. The rail center line is here and the top of the rail is here. So if I need to create a custom profile that's going to be used and extruded or swept along the path of the custom stair railing or just railing in general, then this is where you create it. So I'll go to the Create tab of the ribbon, Align command, and I'll start to build and sketch my custom um, railing, if you will. So we do something like this. And maybe we'll do something like this. And we'll delete inner segment, or we'll split the lead inner segment here and here, and then here as well. And we'll delete this guy. So let's just pretend that this is our custom handrail profile shape. Uh, for building purposes, that may not be very nice, so let's go ahead and make some adjustments to the design. And let's do this one. Take the midpoint of that, the midpoint of that and we'll do something like this. And then we will trim the corner, that and that. So there's our custom profile that we want to use to be loaded into a project. We'll go ahead and we'll save this family. And we'll call it custom uh, profile three railing. Hit save. And now that we've created it, we can use it in a project. So we'll start a new Revit project. We'll start the railing command. Create a railing. Look at this in 3D. You'll notice that if you select it and go to the type properties, you'll see rail structure. You can insert a new railing at whatever height that you need and preview it as well. And so the name can be anything that you want. The height can be anything you want. Um, let's say we make it uh, one foot. There is a profile in here. So you can click in here and you can pick a different profile that you want. Say uh, square handrail one inch and hit apply. You notice it's going to be placed there. I click OK and click OK and it builds it. Now if we select it and go back to the type properties and go to baluster placement, uh, we have the balusters as well for the patterning at four inches, and the balusters at start and in corner conditions. We want to head back to the rail structure and change this so that we can use our own custom handrail profile. Now you'll notice also when you're in the rail structure window, you don't have one defined for the very top. What's happening is this. You actually have to tab into that top handrail and select it. Once you do, you can unpin it and go to its type properties. And you'll see that the profile is being used here, and it says rectangular handrail 2 inch by 2 inch. And again, you can switch it to the 1 inch square if you want to. Hit apply and hit OK. This is how you control the particular railing that you're working with. How do we use the custom profile uh, sketch that we did earlier? Let's toggle back to that family and load it into the project. Now that it's loaded, let's look at this in 3D. And again, tab to that handrail. Go back to its type properties. And now go back to profiles and use the custom one that we made. Hit apply, hit OK, and there you go. So now you've taken that custom profile and assigned it to that top handrail. And you can use it accordingly. This is how you create a custom railing profile for use in a rail in a Revit project. Thank you very much for watching.